Let's look at how to make an enemy, or multiple enemies. Now it's important to remember that the sprite is different to the enemy itself. Um, the enemy itself is like a bundle of information in the computer, and we call that bundle of variables an object. I'm going to show you here how to make an object an easier way than we did last time. Last time we created the monster object, in, in or the player object, and then we said player.x equals blah blah blah, player.y equals etc. But when we're making an object, we can just define it like this. I can say monster1 equals an object, and then give it an x, y, and speed, and then say end. And the same thing with monster2 here. So I've given it an x position, a y position on the screen, and a speed. And you'll see that this is actually the monster, the second monster, is actually slower than the first monster. That happens in the init function, so the monsters are created once at the start of the program. And then the update function, which runs 60 times a second, will be used to move the monster's position. Again, all that does is changes these numbers, monster1.y, monster1.x, etc. It doesn't move the sprite, we do that in the draw function. So let's look at what happens 60 times a second. Um, first of all, we uh, move. This is the actual moving the monster bit, which is easy because my monsters are just moving up and down, as you can see here when I run the program. So monster1 actually moves down the screen. So every frame we say monster1.y minus equals monster1.speed. So if the speed is 2, then 2 is subtracted every time. That's the one coming down here, the monster coming down. The problem is eventually it's going to leave the screen, and I want it to appear up the top of the screen somewhere randomly. So how do we do that? Well, we can say if monster1.y is less than minus 110. Now you can see the screen dimensions on the website, but this is minus 100 down here. If monster1.y is less than minus 110, and this symbol here means less than, with the small side being the small event, greater than would be this one. If it's less than negative 110, then set the monster1.y back up to 110, so set it up to here. But then the second thing is we want it to be, the x value to be randomly assigned between minus 160 and 160. So we can say rand range minus 160, 160. Lowest number, highest number you're prepared for that to be. Now rand range is not a function in Micro Studio, it's something that I've made. And again, if you want to go and get that to, to help you, you just go to explore, um, look for the games prog library. I'll show you how to search for that. You can type in up here, you'll see all of the, uh, the different uh, games here and you can type in games prog library. And then you can just click import source file to whatever file it is that you're working on. And all of this code that I've written for you will be imported into uh, your game. The final thing then, after we've moved them every frame, uh, is to draw the enemy. And we put that in the draw function. Uh, and as you can see, I've got screen.clear here, etc. Uh, and then I've just filled a, a background rectangle of a particular color. And then the really important thing here is drawing the monsters. So I've just said screen dot draw sprite. Here's where I put the name of the sprite I want to draw. Now it's the same sprite that I'm drawing for both the monsters because they're the same uh, image. And then we have the first ones being drawn in, in the monster one dot X position and the monster one dot Y position. The second one is drawn in that position. If you can't remember what the different uh, arguments for the screen.draw sprite um, function is, then you can click on the question mark here and it will give you lots of inf interesting information about that. One final thing, you might notice that the monster here is animated. And that means is because in the sprite section, um, I've actually created or I found uh, on one of the open game art websites, uh, which I suggest you go and look at, um, a sprite sheet with a whole lot of different um, images and that can be put together and the frames per second can be changed here. Um, again, if you're not sure how to do this, I'm happy to show you in class.